These are the tools that you'll need for this project. See the educator guide for more details. Kites were invented by the Chinese almost 3,000 years ago in the 5th century BCE. Traditional Chinese kites often feature flying animals and insects with bilateral symmetry, meaning both halves are exact mirrors of each other. My daughter Grace helped me design a monarch butterfly kite with bilateral symmetry. Lizzie created this dragonfly kite that also has bilateral symmetry, and she added an eye-catching design for the background. Your teacher might give you a template to trace, but to make a kite out of a regular piece of computer paper, you'll need a ruler to measure halfway down the center at four and a quarter inches. Draw a line down the center, then measure three inches from the top, and draw a horizontal line. Connect the top center point to the edges, and the edge point to the bottom center point. Sketch the body of the butterfly lightly by drawing a circle at the top for the head and two ovals below that for the abdomen. Next is the wings. They should have bilateral symmetry, which means they are the same on both sides. The top part of the wings is larger than the bottom part. I decided to shorten the length of the butterfly, so then I erased them and redrew it until they fit the wings. You might need to draw and erase a bit until you get it in the correct proportions. I drew some diamond shapes to decorate the wings. You can draw whatever shapes you want in your wings. Just make sure that the wings are the same on both sides so they have bilateral symmetry. You can choose whatever colors you want to decorate your butterfly, and you can outline it in any color you want. You don't need to use so much black like I did. It's your butterfly, so make it colors that you like. If you have room, give your butterfly antennae at the top of its head and decide if you want a background behind the butterfly. I made colorful squiggly circles radiating out from the center in alternating colors. You can leave it white or create some other background that you like. Flip over your kite to attach the frame to its backside. I cut bamboo skewers to eight and a half inches and 11 inches to tape down on the back. Cut around seven inches of kite string or fishing line and tie each end on the horizontal bar across the back of the kite. It makes a little loop. Then take a lot of string and knot one end through that loop. You can wind your extra string around a piece of cardboard so it doesn't get tangled. Tape some streamers on the bottom to make a tail to make it stable. 